Hello Floss Tube. My name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and today is Saturday, uh, February 10th, uh, 2024, and this is my Floss Tube update number 320. It's almost Valentine's Day. Um, I have a few things to talk about. The very first thing I want to mention is um, that we have a couple of uh, Valentine themed uh, project bags. I know it's very close to Valentine's Day, but and they're not quite in the Etsy shop yet, but they will be soon. Um, we're having a just a little delay in finding something appropriate, you know, charm wise for these. So the first one we have is a little doggy themed Valentine's bag. So there's little little doggies and hearts. There's all kinds of cute puppies. And this little check pattern and then the uh, accompanying fabric has just hearts on it. In there, And I think it's also on the inside. So like I said, these don't have charms yet on the zipper pulls, but they will soon. And so it has that those hearts on the inside. So there's the the project bag and the notions pouch has these little doggies and the heart fabric on the inside there so there's that one and then the other one is valentine gnomes yeah there's love says kiss and a hug there so, and it has also that, that, uh, heart fabric. So, very cute. There's that, and, uh, there's a red zipper. Let's see. And, uh, uh, again, the heart fabric on the inside. And it has the, sorry, matching notions pouch with the gnomes and the hearts. So those, like I said, will be in the Etsy shop very soon. Uh, <clears throat> probably sometime this weekend. So um, hopefully those will be ready soon and you can snatch them up, you know. But anyway, so that's uh, our valentine's day uh, products for the for the etsy shop so now on to stitching um so i worked on a few things uh this week last week i talked about um the the stitching i was doing for my nephew and i finished it and ffo'd it just in time <laughs> um and so it says May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. And I, so I did tweak it a little bit. Originally, I had this design to, to be different, but I uh, tweaked it, and so, yeah. So it fits very nicely. I thought I had ironed it very well, but it seems to be a little long right there. But anyway, then I, uh, I, I used uh, just yarn to, to trim around the outside there, and I mounted it here this was i got this at the dollar tree you know they have yeah, they have a pretty good you know pretty decent uh, craft section with just you know inexpensive little um things like this to mount stuff on or paint or whatever there some are on unpainted wood or whatever this one has a little you know kind of a chalkboard surface but i like the 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 way that looked so i got that and this is the this is the pattern, the, the tweaked pattern. And I think even like when I stitched it, um, it's, this is slightly different from what I stitched, but I don't remember. Like I just made little adjustments, you know, visually as I went along, but this is the, the, the version of it. And it's not on the Etsy shop. It's not something that I necessarily, you know, did as a, you know, for that but um 
if people really really want it I can I can put it up there but it's not uh, you know it's not something that I did for public consumption if you will but so when I went to get that um, I, I had a few different because I have a lot of, of, of you know stuff to mount things on but I didn't know that I had anything I really wanted to, to use for that that would really be appropriate um, so when I went to the Dollar Tree, I just I got a whole bunch of different options uh, because they were only a dollar. But so I got this little palette looking thing and I got this. I considered using this because it's because of the blackness, but it's a little scuffy. So I, you know, I decided against it and it's a little heavy too for that. But there's this, which is a little... Um, thing with it's, you know oval with a hanger and then there's this little oval thing that does not have a hanger and then there's this little plank and so if I had used something like this I would probably have to sand it because of the back is like kind of rough and the front is is smoother but you know and and you could possibly you know you could paint this whatever to you know to make it work, you can do it this way. This doesn't, doesn't have a hanger or anything like that, so, you know. But anyway, so these are the few different options that I was looking at, because um, I was pretty sure that was gonna be pretty small, um, but uh, I wasn't positive what would be appropriate, what would look right. Um, but so in the end, I, I did choose this one. Yeah, so there's that. So I was, I was spending a lot of time just, you know, kind of uh, stitching it and finishing it. Sorry, I have a, something right back there. Um, stitching and finishing that for Thursday, Friday-ish, you know. Um, and in the meantime, I also worked on the Owl Trio, right? This is a Dimensions kit. Uh, the, the designer is Jennifer Nilsson. So I've done all the owl stitching. I've done have not done the any of the back stitching or French knots on there. And right now I just started working on the border around here. But all the all the owls and the leaves and everything I've done except the, the little black single stitches. And because I want to do those, I think when I do the the back stitching, the back stitching is only one thread, but I can just like go over the the, for the X is supposed to be go over it twice with one thread and make it, you know, make it two threads. But anyway, so I stitched, finished stitching the owls and the leaves and the branches that go next to them, like this little branch here. And, um, and so now I'm working on the, the beginning of that border. And then I think because I, I wanted to wait to do the back stitching after I did the border because, um, some of the back stitching, sorry, there's a loose thread thing there. Uh, the back, some of the back stitching, like for this leaf here, comes right up against the, the, uh, the border. So I wanted to do the border first, and then you know, so that I didn't accidentally, you know, go over it wrong or something with the, with uh, go over those threads. So each of the leaves will have a, a stitch like this, a little single black stitch. And there's some, you know, backstitching that goes around it, goes up to that black stitch. So, but anyway, so it's coming along. So all that's left on that is the border. Excuse me, one second. Move this out of the way. Okay. Um, and then I um was. Uh, working on my winter cross stitch camp piece and again that challenge was to stitch something with an animal so I'm doing uh, mouse's Christmas decorating by tiny modernist so I worked a lot on this um, uh, and the challenge is to finish it by the end of the month so I think I'm well on my way. I, I finished the vine and all the little berries. They're, they each have a single stitch of a sort of an orangey color. 
Um, and that's used also for the mouse's cheek and the snowman's cheeks. And there's a uh, black uh, for the eye and, and there's a, the nose there and there's the eyes and the buttons on the snowman. And then this orangey color is, uh, like I said, it's used on the cheeks uh, there, but also on this single stitch for the, for the berries. And then there's one other little bobble that uses that that also that orangey color, and then um, and then this is the Christmas present. And there's these empty empty squares there are going to be white stitches. And then this uh, up here, uh, and then there's like some like a bow is a, is ribbon, and it's going to be that orangey color, yeah. You know? And so there's, and then like, there's the like twig arms on the snowman and a broom and stuff like that that are, have to be stitched. And his, he has a hat and there's a, a little, like a cardinal up here also. So it's about, and then, oh yeah, her boots, the mouse's boots. Um, so, and, the, and her apron, she has a, a white apron right here. So, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, I would say a little bit more than halfway done, you know. But yeah, so I, the, the last thing I was doing, I've been doing is uh, the white of the snowman. I think I finished all the white there. And and the, so the these empty stitches on the scarf are that orangey color, yeah. So that's that's coming along very nicely. It, uh, it's... Um, Two over two on this uh, fabric that I dyed myself. It's a, like a linen. It's a linen. Um, the Dimensions kit, of course, came with a, a, a blue uh, Ada. And then, uh, finally, I today started on, um, on one of my Whipco pieces. This is the number... Not three, but 24. Uh, this is the beaver. And <laughs> I was, uh, I, I just stitched like this part of the, of the branch, uh, the tree. I had gotten, I think I had stopped right here before. I just done that part of the branch. And so I, today, uh, during our video this morning with my scissors, I, uh, I stitched this part. And I was gonna, originally, gonna work on the beaver himself. Because I had, like I said, I had done, you know, the this this part of the branch here. And I thought, well, I can do, maybe do some a couple of leaves and then get to the actual beaver, get to his, his body here. But, um, so I, I looked in the, because I had like a, pro, a pro, project bag that had, um, that has the little brown bat, which is October, the, the number 10 uh, pattern, and the reindeer, which is the number 12 pattern. And so this one is number 11. And so last year, uh, from my November new start, I had started this, the, the beaver, and I had just done that one branch in the one darker color here, charcoal. It's a wheat dye works, yeah, charcoal, but just the one color of the branch, and it's all had done. So I thought, well, surely you know, in that bag, you know, because because each of these patterns, this is by Cottage Garden Samplings, a year in the woods, uh, the beaver, is number ten. So for each of these patterns, there's like um, two, I think, two uh, fancy floss, either wheat dye works or some other one, <laughs> but most of them are weak star works. And then they have like several uh, DMC colors. So this one has about, about nine uh, DMC colors along with the, the two fancy floss colors, right? So it calls for charcoal and pecan and then a bunch of, of DMC colors. And I thought, surely, you know, I, I know at one point I had pulled all the DMC colors for all of these patterns, the, all 12 patterns. And um, and so in this project bag, I had the Weeks Dye Works colors, 
that are and 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 some of them are shared with, among the you know the patterns but i had the ones for the beaver and i assumed that i had the dmc colors in there but i did not and so when we sat down out here to do that i realized oh i don't have the dmc colors in this particular project bag but i did have fortunately i did have the the fancy floss things threads so i just worked on on the the tree some more because eventually I do have to do it anyway so I went ahead and worked on it and probably if I you know counted far enough I could have done a little bit of the beaver but but the uh, where the two colors are on the beaver's body there's like a little bit of of the pecan color right here and then the there's a few stitches of the charcoal color um you know that are easy to to get to and the rest of it is like down in here, like his feet are that darker color and, and his tail. But, you know, that's, yeah, I couldn't count that far down, you know, without it. So, so anyway, I worked on, you know, the tree. And this is, this is the, the October one part of the bat here. Because right here, this little line here, this is the, the, the border that I made to, to put between them. And then here's the other one. This is part of the reindeer, this little thing there. So, and this is, I want to say, I don't know if it's 28 or 32 count um, linen that I dyed myself. And so all of the, all of the um, cottage garden year in the woods things are on this same greenish fabric. So yeah, there's part of the reindeer. That's his little, uh, eye and nose and mouth and that's one of his antlers and there's the part of the bat the little brown bat and so the beaver goes here in between yeah so this is october november and december of this uh series so yeah <laughs> hopefully i'll get some more work on that done because it's seven days so this is the first day of of that of that seven and the other one I have for that, the secondary one I have for that is the winter cardinal etching uh, out of uh, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine from, I want to say 2020. Um, and it's a <clears throat> Cecilia Turner heart and hand design. Uh, I don't have it here with me because I haven't started on it yet. Um, and I have, I have the sticks and twigs, but it has also calls for cherry cobbler. It just has the two colors in it. Um, but I don't have the cherry cobbler yet. And so, um, I don't know if, if I'm going to go to the attic or if, um, because it would have to wait till next weekend or something if we, we went, um, or I might order it online or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet because I have some other threads that I, I, I need to get. Um, so I might just go ahead and order them online. It just, you know, depends on my schedule, but my finances but anyway so I think that's it so I'm hoping like I, I said I have I have basically um because I didn't do any more work on the rabbit rabbit um I, I think I worked on it maybe one or two days last week um because I just started on it on the first yeah so I think I just worked one or two days on it and um so I'm hoping I'm hoping to get you know more time on that but I was working really hard to get the the uh, integrity uh, stitching done and then and uh, I was putting in some time on on the mouse also so you know and the owls I'm working on <laughs> all those three things um, so hopefully um, I'll have time to to do more of the rabbit rabbit and uh and then of course my my two main whip go things mama cat and the beaver but um that is all i've been doing um uh, we uh we ha we've had a lot of rain here in in uh in phoenix um i guess it's part of that you know that the very heavy rain they've been having in california um that it's, you know, part of that, um, what do they call it? 
atmospheric train or whatever they call it. Um, so, you know, so we've had a lot of rain here in Phoenix, which is very unusual. It's been like in the, like in the fifties, uh, you know, it's been very cold. It's gotten down to the forties. And I think, um, one of my sisters said that it was like 30 something at, you know, like at four o'clock in the morning or whatever, you know, it's pretty early. Um, so yeah, it's been very unusually cold here. Having to sort of like go through the closets and find a warm coat. Um, but it rained like crazy on Thursday and then rained again, like overnight last night. And, uh, and it's very cloudy today too. The, the summer's out, you know, it was kind of warmish in the car <laughs> with the sun shining, but the sky was, is, has very lumpy, scary looking, dark looking clouds in it. So it's probably going to rain. If the clouds stick around, it's probably going to rain more tonight or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's been very unusual weather here in, in the Phoenix area. We were thinking, I guess just last week thinking, oh, it's, I guess the winter's over and, you know, the sun is going to be shining soon, but, you know, yeah, didn't happen. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, yeah, it's been uh, uh, kind of unusually, unusually cold. Um, there was something else I was going to say. I can't remember. But anyway, so like I said, now that, you know, the, the, I was working fast to get that integrity thing done and that's done. Um, so I've got a little more breathing space to work on the, the whip code pull that I do have. And so it's almost, uh, almost Valentine's day. And, um, <laughs> uh, we used to say, uh, in my singles group at church in, in, in Little Rock, we used to say, February 14th is just another day. Um, you know, for those of us who, you know, were, were like unattached and everything going on for Valentine's Day. So today is the 10th. So for those of you who are celebrating, doing something for it, the 14th is just around the corner. And, um, and is it, is it tomorrow Super Bowl Sunday? I don't know. We, we were at, at Walmart earlier today and somebody was buying a big screen television. <laughs> I thought, they're buying that for the game. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so yeah. Um, I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, I'm hoping to do more uh, on all my projects, especially my WIPGO things. Um, to get those, uh, to get as much as I can done. I have, you know, uh, plenty of time this month and, and then I want to finish the winter cross stitch camp piece. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's all I have, I think. So, um, I think that's it. I will see you then next week. Yeah. So hopefully I'll have more to show you then. Bye.